Join me as I dive into the world of AI and take on the challenge of exploring the most mind-blowing hugging face projects you won't believe actually exist. Today, we're going to talk about AI-powered projects on hugging face, and I want to highlight their significance in the AI landscape. Hugging Face has become a hub for developers to showcase their innovative AI projects, and it's amazing to see how these projects are pushing the boundaries of what's possible with artificial intelligence. Let's take a look at some of the unique AI projects hosted on Hugging Face this week. Project number 1 Indic Parlor TTS, a unique approach to text-to-speech. Today, we're exploring a fascinating project on Hugging Face, called Indic Parlor TTS. This is not just another text-to-speech model. It stands out due to its very specific and important objective. What makes Indic Parlor TTS truly unique is its focus on Indian languages. While many text-to-speech models prioritize English, and some may include a few widely spoken languages, the vast linguistic diversity of India is frequently ignored. This project aims to bridge that gap. The TTS in the name stands for text-to-speech. This indicates that the project's function is to convert written text into spoken audio. Indic Parlor TTS uses the latest advancements in deep learning and neural networks to produce high-quality and natural-sounding speech. Although the specific details of the architecture aren't available here, we can assume it is a complex system that is trained on extensive datasets of Indian language text and audio. This sophisticated system is what allows the project to produce speech from the text input. Furthermore, the project is hosted on Hugging Face Spaces, a platform for sharing and hosting machine learning demos. Why is this so important? Think about the digital divide. Many people in India primarily use their native languages and may not have access to digital resources in their languages. Projects like Indic Parlor TTS are essential to make information more accessible and promote better communication for a large population. This kind of technology can also enable accessibility tools and educational resources. This project is a fantastic example of using AI to encourage inclusivity and bridge communication gaps. So, that's a brief look at Indic Parlor TTS. This is a great example of how AI can be used for good, and I'm excited to watch how this project evolves. Project number two, Anidoc. The future of animation is here. Let's, we're diving into an another exciting project on Hugging Face, called Anidoc, created by Fifaloni. This project is all about using the power of AI to make animation creation easier and more accessible. What makes Anidoc special? Well, it focuses on automating the time-consuming aspects of animation, like creating the in-between frames, also known as in-betweening, which traditionally requires a lot of manual work. Anidoc also explores AI-powered colorization to automatically add color to line art animations. It might even offer features to assist with character design, such as generating different poses or exploring various styles. This isn't just about making animation faster, it's about unlocking new creative possibilities. Technically, Anidoc likely uses diffusion models, which are advanced AI models known for their impressive results in generating and manipulating images. The model would have been trained using datasets of keyframe animations, which allows it to understand the principles of movement and character animation. To create smooth animation, the model may use techniques like optical flow or feature tracking to match corresponding features between keyframes. The benefits are huge. Anidoc aims to increase efficiency, improve quality, and make animation more accessible. It's a step towards democratizing animation, empowering both professional animators and aspiring artists to create high-quality animations more easily. It's a really exciting time for AI and animation, and Anidoc is at the forefront. Project number 3, Lumina Brush, the Uniform Lit Stage. We're exploring a fascinating project on Hugging Face, called Lumina Brush, created by Lias Veal. This project focuses on innovative tools for image editing and manipulation, specifically in the realm of illumination effects. What makes Lumina Brush stand out is its unique approach to lighting manipulation through a uniform lit stage. Dot. The project begins with a uniform lit stage. Think of it like placing an object in a perfectly evenly lit room. The goal here is to make the foreground object in an image appear as if it's illuminated consistently from all directions, with minimal shadows or highlights. This uniformly lit state acts as a neutral canvas for further image editing. To achieve this, the model likely isolates the foreground object from the background using segmentation techniques. Then, the model adjusts brightness, contrast, and color to create a more even illumination, reducing shadows and highlights. This is important because it provides a controlled base to then add targeted lighting effects. Without this step, any additional lighting effects added would be influenced by the original lighting conditions. By creating this consistent base, the model can more effectively add highlights, shadows, 
and other lighting effects, resulting in more realistic and visually appealing images. This technique can be applied to a wide range of images, allowing for versatile manipulation of lighting and various visual effects. Essentially, the uniform lit stage of Lumina Brush is a critical foundation for the entire image manipulation process leading to more precise and controllable application of illumination effects. Project number 4, MMAudio, Bridging Visuals and Sound. Let's, we're diving into another fascinating project on Hugging Face, called MMAudio, created by Changrex. This project explores the exciting area of video-to-audio synthesis. What makes MMAudio unique is its ability to generate synchronized audio that accurately reflects the visual content of a given video. It's all about teaching AI to understand the relationship between what we see and what we hear. This is achieved through multimodal learning, which combines information from from both the video and audio domains. The model is jointly trained on video and audio data, enabling it to learn how to generate audio that is not only realistic but also perfectly synced with the video. To make sure the audio aligns with the video's timing and events, MMAudio likely incorporates a dedicated synchronization module. Think of it as a smart assistant that ensures the sound effects match the action in the video. Technically, MMAudio uses advanced deep learning architectures such as transformer-based models for processing sequential data like audio and video, as well as convolutional neural networks networks CNNs, for handling the visual information from the video frames. It is also possible that generative adversarial networks GANs, are used to generate high-quality audio. Training these models requires large and diverse datasets of videos with corresponding audio. The potential applications are vast, ranging from generating soundtracks for silent movies, creating realistic sound effects for video games, and even enhancing accessibility for people with hearing impairments by creating descriptive audio tracks. Project number 5 LMM, a generalist framework for generating human motion. We're exploring in another exciting project on hugging face, called LMM or Large Motion Model, by Mingyuan. This project represents a major step forward in multimodal motion generation. What makes LMM stand out is its ability to combine different motion generation tasks into a single framework. It can process inputs like text, music, and images and generate realistic human motion. LMM is capable of understanding and creating motion across different modalities. For example, it can perform text-to-motion, generating movements from text descriptions, like a person walking gracefully. It can also do music-to-motion, creating dance moves that match a piece of music. And it can perform image-to-motion, generating motions based on a given image. The model likely uses diffusion models and encodes various inputs into a common representation. A novel art attention mechanism may be included, which allows the model to focus on individual body parts. This enables the model to create more human-like motion. LMM is trained on a large dataset of motion data. This training allows the model to learn generalizable representations of human movement. The project's framework provides solutions for a wide range of motion generation tasks including character animation and dance choreography. LMM generates high-quality, diverse, and realistic motion sequences, which will open new creative possibilities in many fields. Project number 6 MV Adapter, Multiview Image Generation. We're exploring a fascinating project on Hugging Face, called MV Adapter, by Huangs. This project is focused on generating multiview images, particularly in the anime style. What makes MV Adapter unique is its ability to create images of the same subject from multiple viewpoints, which is crucial for applications like 3D modeling, animation, and virtual reality. The project demonstrates the ability to generate consistent and aesthetically pleasing multi-view images within this popular artistic style. MV Adapter builds upon powerful, pre-trained text-to-image models like Animagine XL 3.1. This allows for efficient development and leverages the existing capabilities of the base model. The core of MV Adapter involves techniques for generating consistent views of a 3D object or scene from different perspectives. This may involve incorporating camera parameters such as position and rotation into the models inputs to guide the generation of different views. The project also likely utilizes 3D geometric priors to ensure consistency between the generated views. The model also may employ attention mechanisms to focus on relevant parts of the image and maintain consistency across views. The MV Adapter project offers several benefits, including enhanced creative possibilities for artists and designers to explore 3D concepts. It generates more realistic and consistent multi-view images, which improves the quality of 3D models and virtual environments. This opens up new possibilities for applications in 3D modeling, animation, virtual reality, 
and augmented reality. By leveraging advanced AI techniques, MD Adapter is a significant step toward generating high-quality, multi-view images, and may revolutionize how we create and interact with 3D content. Project number 7, Switi, 1024. AI-powered high-resolution image synthesis. We're diving into an exciting project on hugging face, called Switi 1024 by Baranchuk. This project focuses on text-to-image synthesis, and what makes Switi 1024 stand out is its ability to generate high-resolution images of 1024 by 1024 pixels with improved quality and efficiency. This represents a significant step forward in the field, as creating high-resolution images from text is a complex challenge. The project is pushing the boundaries of what's possible in image generation. Switi 1024 introduces a novel architecture called Scalewise Transformers which is at the core of the model's capabilities. These transformers operate at different scales within the image generation process. The model extracts image features at different levels, such as coarse and fine details, and processes them using specialized transformer modules. The project also uses scale-wise attention mechanisms, allowing the model to focus on relevant details at various levels of granularity. Moreover, it facilitates information flow between different scales, ensuring coherent and high-quality image generation. This multi-scale approach allows the model to learn image features more effectively. The model is likely trained on a massive dataset using advanced techniques like diffusion models and optimization algorithms. This enables Switi 1024 to generate images with higher fidelity, sharper details, and more realistic textures compared to previous models. The project aims for both quality and efficiency, potentially allowing for faster image generation. To summarize, we've discussed some of the most mind-blowing hugging face projects that are pushing the boundaries of what's possible with AI. Thanks for watching, and I'd love to hear from you in the comments about your favorite project from today's video. Be sure to share this video with your friends and subscribe for more content related to AI advancements.